Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo. Plush toys are many children's first best friend. See how Amber Adams Fall has shaped her art to create happiness for herself and in the community. I'm Amber Adams Fall and I mostly make plush toys and like some children's clothes and baby shoes right now. I originally wanted to be making clothing full time, um, but it's not super practical to do that. It's Fabric is really expensive now. It used to be in the 60s and 70s that it was a lot cheaper to make your own clothes than to buy them. And all of the clothes that I made for the internship that I did back in school were kind of animal themed. <laughs> so I had like animal hats and giant furry monster coats and all of this really silly stuff. So it seemed like an, a very comfortable transition to turn that into plush animals instead of clothes. So I make all of these different types of play food out of recycled fabrics and I'm going to show you how to make a carrot today. These are a couple of the finished ones and they're made out of sweaters and recycled felt. So I start with an old sweater. This one's already kind of cut up. And I don't use a pattern because I like the finished result to look a little bit more organic. So if it's kind of lopsided, it'll just look more like a real carrot. So I start down at the end and I'm just gonna cut a narrow triangle. And I approximate that it's probably about six inches long, kind of like a real carrot. And you wanna turn it so that the right side of the fabric is on the inside and you have the wrong sides out. And then put it into your sewing machine. You could totally do this by hand too, but it's just a little bit quicker by machine. And you just sew right down the edge. So now you have a nice triangle shape. And I'm gonna turn this right side out just like you would with a sock that's inside out. And I like to take my scissors and just kind of like push the point out so you get a nice point at the end. Take some fiber fill. I use stuff called Ecofill that's made out of recycled pop bottles because I like to try to keep the whole project as recycled as possible. And you're just shoving little globs of fluff down in there until you've got your carrot all nice and Stuffed. Needs a tiny bit more. At craft fairs, my goal is that as soon as somebody's within view of my table, they start smiling or giggling uncontrollably or are like yelling, oh my God, it's so cute, which happens all the time for me um, because everything's really brightly colored and soft and like. If I can create the urge for you to pick up the thing that I've made and hold it or squeeze it or play with it, then I've done my job right. That's what I'm shooting for all the time, for you to be happy with <laughs> whatever you're seeing. Um, so yeah, ultimate goal is cuteness, I think. <laughs> so once your carrot is full of stuffing, you're gonna take a hand sewing needle, not the end of your thread, and you're basically just making a drawstring for the carrots. So I'm just gonna go in and out about every half an inch, all the way around the outside edge of this. And you want your stitches to be big, not close together like you would if you were you know, sewing something that needed to be structurally sound. Once I've pulled it taut, I've got a nice little like drawstring, drawstring lumpy situation and you're just gonna pull through a couple times to knot the thread. So you want your opening to stay nice and closed. And you can snip the thread off. Now I've got a couple of these ready. I've got one big one that looks kind of normal and I made a couple of small ones out of some sillier stripey fabric. And we're gonna make a carrot top that looks kind of like this. What I do to make those is I take a sheet of felt that's twice as long as I want my carrot top to be and fold it in half. And then I'm just gonna cut two strips from that. You wanna cut off the tip of the corner on all four sides. 
and then I turn it upside down so I have the fold all the way at the top and I'm just going to cut little slits all the way down and this kind of gives you like the fluffy leafy carrot top that you would see on a real carrot. So I do two of those for each carrot, snipping my corners, making fringe, And when I have my two carrot tops, I open them up and lay them on top of each other. So you can kind of see I've got a nice, like, solid area in here that's not cut. And then it gets laid on the top of the carrot. And I can come back in with my thread and stitch this carrot to the top. Or the top to the carrot, sorry. This part's a little bit trickier. It can take a couple tries to really get it. But once you've got it sewn on, you just knot your thread again, and you end up with a finished carrot with a nice fluffy top. I think the arts in Kalamazoo and everywhere is just a thing that needs to be supported because it feeds your soul. When I look at what I have done over the past couple years, like I wouldn't trade this for anything. I'm so much happier when I'm doing something with my hands. I just think that creating something gives you something you can't get from anything else, and that's really important. And I, for me, a lot of that, of my work gets shared with other people, and it's bringing them joy. And that's like so wonderful. There's nothing that compares to knowing that the work that you did made someone else happy.